hoping it's unlocked. I don't know, it's cracked, but hold up. It's you running through my veins. Your love runs through my veins. Good morning, YouTube family. So I just dropped the boys off at school. I'm on my way back to the house to pick up Thomas to drive him to work because he had to take his car to the shop. So getting ready to take him to work and then got to start packing up our clothes and stuff and all of our food because we finally, finally got the keys to our temporary house so that they can start work on the house that we're in right now. And according to the housing manager or whatever, it should take about two weeks. And if it goes longer than two weeks, then they like pay us some money, I guess for our hardship, but whatever, I don't care. So, I can't wait to see it. I haven't been inside of it yet. I don't even think Thomas has seen it yet. I started packing up some outfits for the boys. And I started packing up a little bit of our food. But the way my kids eat, I feel like we're going to need to pack up half our refrigerator to get here. So that it'll last us the two weeks or maybe more that we're going to be at this temporary house. And then I still got to clear out the bathroom in our old house because they said they need everything like out of the medicine cabinet from underneath the sink, take the shower curtain down, clean out all of that stuff. Oh, so I have a lot to do. And then the boys still have a doctor's appointment today. So much fun. It's going to be a crazy day. Crazy, crazy, crazy day. But all right, I'm home. And I'll see y'all later. All right, y'all. So we're back at the house. Everybody is dropped off at their designated spot. Um, so I'm trying to like kill a whole lot of birds with as few stones as possible. One, I'm trying to clear out the kitchen like they asked us to. And then I'm trying to, number two, this is point number two. I'm trying to pack our food, which I started some last night, as you can see over there. There we go. Um, pack food. Then I need to, number three, go upstairs, pack the boys' clothes. Well, they've already picked out outfits, so I just need to put that in a bag, load it up into the car, and then I need to pick out outfits for myself, load that into the car, and shoes and such. So that's number three. Um, then number four, I put up three fingers instead of four. Number four... I need to pack up some soap supplies, business supplies, because I'm trying to like stay on schedule for my, I'm supposed to be like doing a launch and everything in September and I'm trying to stay on schedule and keep up with that. So I'm going to be like doing stuff while we're at the new place since we're going to be there for two weeks, maybe more. So I need to get all that together and then load it up into the car. And then number five is to actually go to the new place that we're supposed to go to. Because last night they told us we could move there. And the housing manager left the keys on the counter inside of the house. So I'm assuming that it's all unlocked. Um, she texted us the address. So then I'm going to take everything there before I go pick up the boys. Because again, they have a doctor's appointment today. <sighs> it's just so much happening. But it's not going to get done with me talking to y'all. So let me get started. Spinning like a broken record For a player you don't know that many major chords We hang out Sorry, boo, and I know you never mean it. Cause 
somebody was coming in and as far as I know maintenance didn't say exactly when they were coming to start the work but I go around the corner to the front door and it's a maintenance man with like a drill in his hand and he's like oh I'm he was seemed equally surprised as I was but he was like I'm here to change the locks say what now like no one ever said anything about changing the locks and then he left he didn't even change him so I'm confused as to what's going on like is that what's going to be happening while we're not here they just going to be popping in and out like just doing whatever because we most definitely never talked about the locks being changed. They told us like we would still be able to come to the house to get stuff if we needed it while we were at the other place. So how would we be able to do that if y'all are changing the locks? Like, do I need to go hide my underwear? Like, what is happening? <sighs> okay, so I pretty much packed everything and got like... Barbecue sauce. We're going to do Taco Tuesday today. So, you know, tortilla chips. Not tortilla chips, but taco shells, all that. Um, all our breakfast stuff. Oil. Our olive oil. All of our spices to season our food with. And then Theo has to bring snack. So, all of our frozen foods, stuff from the freezer, are all in this bag. And then our bread, my almonds, that's all that's in that bag. Two cases of our, well not cases, but two packs of our water. Um, syrup, canned goods, some more vanilla wafers, and Pringles, like a little after school snack, oatmeal, more snacks in this bag this is all cereal and then i have a uh, paper plates cups plastic forks and spoons and then cleaning supplies so they said it's fully stocked but i think that was only like as far as furniture because all they said was we needed to bring were linens and food they didn't say nothing about if it had paper towel trash bags cleaning supplies, you know, scrub brushes, some magic erasers, so I just packed those. And I think I'm going to stop for right now, because I was thinking, I don't know if it has a coffee maker and like coffee for breakfast, I need it, so do I need to bring the Keurig or do I not need to bring the Keurig? And then I'm pretty sure that Thomas is going to want to bring the air fryer, but I'm thinking that I should just hold for right now on all the kitchen stuff and go load this in the car and then make the trip over there to see what actually it all has in it to see if like there's already a coffee maker there because then I won't need to bring my Keurig. More than likely we're still gonna need to bring the air fryer like 
Thomas can't live without his air fryer. So yeah, that's all the kitchen stuff. So now I need to go pack our clothes and then we're gonna go make the run to the new house. All right guys, I think we found it. 7283B. Hoping it's unlocked. I don't know, it's cracked, but hold up. All right, so we're just gonna take a break for a second, guys, because the door is like open. You can tell that the locks aren't on, but for some reason the door is like swollen shut thought I saw a bug for a second so I had to call the property manager and she's gonna come over and try to open it because it's really not moving all right guys so we're in she brought along one of the guys that works in the office and he just gave it a little shove and it opened up the nerve but okay as soon as you walk in here is the living room she did leave the keys on the counter for us. So wow, it comes furnished with a TV and everything. Couches, table. Let's go around this way first. Let's go into the kitchen, see what's behind this door. Oh, like a little pantry of some sort. We're only gonna be here for two weeks, so I'm not even gonna get excited about it. Oh, so the laundry room is in the kitchen. Amazing. Okay, and it does come with the trash can and a laundry basket. There is a coffee maker. So I don't need to worry about bringing ours. Okay. Might as well just bring our dirty clothes in here, do them. So here we go. Here's our dishwasher. Cause I don't know about y'all, but I can't stand doing dishes by hand. Let's see, do they have cleaning products? See or no? That's a no. So I'm glad I packed some, but they do have some Dawn. Ooh, pots. These are cute. Um. Why is everything sticking? Okay, so it's a good thing I packed paper plates. Uh, yeah. All right. Stove. I'm gonna assume those are all empty too. Almost the same fridge we have. All right, so now let's go on upstairs. Oh wait, there's something this way. Is this our back door? Oof. Oh, see, I don't know quite what this is for, but it looks like one of those paranormal activity type rooms. So we're just gonna leave this door closed. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. Don't know what lives in there in the night. Here's one bedroom. Comes with the dresser, the nightstand, and a closet. All the doors stick here. Okay, here's the closet. And then there was another, I'm guessing this is the bathroom. So this is the downstairs bath. with a linen closet. All right, and then we can go, did I open this door? I don't think I opened this door. Okay, another closet. Even comes with a baby gate. Let me go upstairs. It's 
smells like new carpet in here. All right, so first bedroom, as soon as you come off the steps, is this one. Bigger than the one downstairs. Much bigger closet. Can I walk into it? Yes, I can. Okay. So, left or right? Uh, let's go right. Now the bathroom. Pretty much looks like the one we already have. Another closet. Oh, it's nice and spacious. Let me step back so y'all can really see it. Yeah. Another one that you can walk right into. It's pretty deep looking too. So, okay. That's one closet. Another door for another little storage closet. There's lots of space in this house. Okay, so here is upstairs bedroom number two, which is really nice. I don't know the rooms. I don't know if it's how they have them configured with the furniture, but I feel like they just get bigger and bigger each one we go into. All right, here's the last one. I say that and then this is, I think the smallest of all four bedrooms, but still, good closet, decent size, nice shape. Here's another door. Okay, so another deep storage closet. See if I can turn on the light. Or maybe not. It has a light bulb. Oh no. Is that like supposed to be like an attic? Let's see. We're just gonna leave this door closed too. So nobody has time for paranormal activity. Alright, so that's the that light switch isn't for that closet. I don't know what it's for then. Can I open this one? Yes, the linen closet. The random bucket. Cool. <laughs> All right, so back down the steps we go. Now I'm gonna go get this food out of the car because it is hot outside. Nobody has time for spoiled groceries. <laughs> so let me go get that. Uh -oh.